Okay, so most of the time when they tie the tubes, they cut them and burn them, and that's kind of routine. Uh, the question is, did they destroy the end of the tube, the fimbria, uh, or did they uh, do a like an Esure procedure just by putting an irritative uh, uh, coil into through the uterus because those things really can't be reversed. Uh, they're really a, they're really a mess. But frankly, we did the first uh, microsurgical tubal reversal in 1977 in the United States, and so we've got a vast experience of over three decades with this. And uh, at age 30, she should be quite fertile uh, with a proper reconnection. Uh, now she has a choice. I mean, she can she can do IVF as well. But many women, if we would prefer just to have the tubes reconnected microsurgically if it's done properly, because they have one operation and they don't have to go through hormones and possibly more than one cycle of IVF. So our results are fantastic. But if they took out your fimbriated end, we call it, that's the end of the tube near the ovary, well then nothing can be done. It can't really pick up the egg. Or if they did what seemed like a simple procedure through the uterus, put this little coil into your uterotubal junction to scar it down, well, uh, that can't be reversed surgically, but you don't have to fear you can still get pregnant with IVF, but then tubal reversal wouldn't be your option.